Here I have three different types of wire insulation. I'm going to show you guys the difference between the, the three different types that I've got here. On the left, the red wire is uh, PVC insulation. This is very common in uh, a lot of installations of, uh, well, pretty much anything, household wiring, like appliances, pretty much anything uses PVC because it's, it's cheap and it's effective. In the middle, you've got TP, which is, uh, stands for thermoplastic elastomer, which is a mix of um, rubber and plastic. And on the right, you've got PTFE, which is polytetraurethane, whatever how you pronounce it, uh, which is uh, basically very high temperature. And I'm going to show you the difference uh, of what happens when you expose these three to fire. Very extreme temperatures. So this is, this is the worst case scenario. Let's set the hob about midway. And first I'm going to start off with the, uh, the PVC. I'll show you what that does. Put down the flame, and it, it burns quite readily. If I left that in there, it, yeah, it would, it would just burn to a crisp, and there would be nothing left to actually insulate the wire at all. That was that would just fall apart. Now it's it's carbon. It's all carbon. Uh, okay, so on to the TPE. It does burn. It's not completely fire retardant, but it extinguishes with, with relative ease. Uh, the key thing about TPE is although it will burn, it, it maintains its, uh, its structural rigidity. You can probably just about see there, it's still round. And if I extinguish it, it's still, it's still kind of integral. It doesn't fall apart, it's, it's stretchy. So that, that wouldn't short out at that point. You could have a, a, an electrical fire. Well, it wouldn't be an electrical fire. It'd have to be from an external influence. Uh, the cables would not short together at this point because it's still insulated. So TPE has a significant advantage over PVC. But this, is, this PTFE wire is really interesting because this you can expose to the fire and it doesn't really burn. Considering this flame is hot enough to melt the copper inside the wire, it, it just will not burn. And that is that is right in the tip of the flame, that's the hottest part of the flame there. And it, yeah, it, it's self-extinguishing, it, it will not burn. Obviously eventually it, it would it would cause a, well it wouldn't cause a fire, but you can see there that it, the wire has come through, but... Yeah, you can see the difference. There's a definite... <laughs> There's a definite resilience there for this to burn. It is extremely high temperature wire, and this is, just, this is the type of wire you'll find on like lambda sensors and things that are exposed to exhaust gases. And that's well, not exhaust gases, but on the exhaust manifold, you'll you'll find this type of wire. Uh, this particular one is silver plated copper wire, so it's uh, a little bit less resistive. It's pretty expensive stuff. It's like 50 pounds a spool. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this interesting, the, the differences in the three wire insulations, and uh, see you around.